Hi guys, it's DC Cubing, and today I'll be showing you my entire cube collection. So I did do one of these videos a while ago, but since then I've got tons and tons of new cubes. So I thought, why not? I'll do another one. So in here I should have 17. One broke, one got lost, and I've got two snake cubes, which I'm also not showing because they're technically not Rubik's cubes. I mean they are, but yeah, you, you know what I mean. They're sort of really easy, so they're not not really a puzzle or a challenge or anything. So I don't I don't really count them. So I'm gonna start off with the gear cube. Don't know what company made this. Um, it's quite nice turning. Really fun to solve. If you don't have one, definitely get one. It's really fun, really easy to learn. Um, my only complaint is it has purple instead of white. All gear cubes have purple instead of white, which is really annoying. And plus, it's stickerless as well. It looks like they have stickers, but it is actually stickerless. Um, and also, they don't do um, stickers, like the shapes for these. So you're going to have to cut your own if you want the purple to be white. Okay, so next is my concave cube. Again, don't know what company this is. This was really cheap, and it definitely shows that it's cheap. And um, the only thing cool about it is its design. The rest of it, it's it can turn all right, but this that's after loosening to the point where it pops after every single corner cut, um, and um, countless lubing to make it to try and make it better. And even then, it still locks up and it constantly pops. See, see, pop. And I've messed it up. That's just great, isn't it? I'll solve it. Oh, well. Next is my five by five. I think it's Shengshao, but then again, I don't know because I got it for my birthday and it didn't say the name of the company on the packet. It turns really well. This is after when I first got it. It did not turn well at all. I've just played with it so much. It, it turns amazing, and it's really fun. Um, just mess around with. I don't know how to solve it, but it's really fun just to mess around with it, and I like to solve the white side a lot. Um, yeah, but that's a Shengshao five by five, I think. Okay, so moving on, I've got my Shengshao Pyraminx. I do like Shengshao, as you can tell. Uh, this is probably my favourite puzzle. I don't know. Yeah, it probably is. Uh, really fun to solve. If you don't have a Pyraminx, why don't you have a Pyraminx? You need to get one. Um, this one has been modified quite a bit. I've modified the core a little bit. Um, I've lubed it all, including the caps. I've loosened it to the right tension, and now it's really good. So that's the Shengshao Pyraminx. Okay, so now we've got this old speed cube. It's really old. Um, I use this to make my one by one. As you can see, the corners are missing and a few stickers are missing. Um, I mean, it, t it turns all right. I mean, it is really old though. Um, it's like one of the first speed cubes. It turns quite good, but it does pop and lock up a lot. And plus, it doesn't have any screws, so you can't loosen it, which is a shame. Well, you can't modify it. I tried to lube it, it just made it even slower. So, yeah. Next is my Sheng Shao 2x2. Um, I don't like it very much. I mean, I, I have had two of these, but I lost one. I ordered a Cyclone Boys 2x2, but then a Sheng Shao one came. So that's quite annoying, but... Oh well. Um, it's, it's still okay. But it doesn't turn very well, and there's no corner cutting. There is absolutely no corner cutting. It was a tiny little bit reversed. There's just absolutely none. And also the core, the inner parts of it pop a lot. So I've had to tighten it a lot and it still pops. And it's a pain when it pops because it's so tight. It's just an absolute pain. Okay, so next is my, um, what I like to say a main home cube. Which basically is, I, I'm not going to take this to competitions. But while I'm just at home doing a few solves, this is my main. And you can probably tell why. It is my best turning puzzle. Um, if you don't have one, definitely get one. They're quite cheap. They're really cool. I mean, it's actually made of carbon fibre, the stickers. Um, it. The only thing not very good about it is its reverse corner cutting isn't very good at all. But, yeah. 
that's the Z cube carbon fiber three by three. Definitely get one if you don't have one. It's very cool. Okay, so next is my chi cube. I always, I you know, I thought this was um um moyu at first, and then someone corrected me in the comments, um saying actually it's a chi. So I didn't know that. Um. It's very fast, I haven't loosened it, I haven't lubed it, it's just countless solves and I've made it really fast. Really fun to solve, if you don't have a scube, definitely get one. Um, and yeah, so that's a chi scube. So next we have my chi square one, I've solved it once and then I just, I can't solve it. Um, but the slice is really, really smooth, it is so quiet and smooth. Um, the upper layers, this one's really sluggish and slow, and this one's really fast, I don't know why. And also, if you try and do anything really fast, it will pop. If I can get it to pop now, there we go. Oh dear. Any fast turns and it will pop, which is a bit weird, because I've looked at some other reviews on it, and they say that it just never pops. But mine pops after every one or so turns. So that's annoying, that's why I haven't really learned to solve it, because I'll be in the middle of solving it, and then it'll just pop out. See, that wasn't even fast, it just came flying out. Okay, so that's the Chi square one. Next is my Sheng Shao mirror cube. When I first got this, it was extremely sandy and slow, but after a few solves, it's now really, really good. If you don't have a mirror cube, I definitely recommend getting one. This one was only two pounds, and it was really cheap. And um, some of the sides are faster than others, which is a bit weird. And if you tighten it, like if I tighten this side, this side will become looser. If I tighten this side, that side will become loose. Tighten that one, this one will come loose. So it's really weird. So you can't really get the right tension on it, which is disappointing. But yeah, that's the Shen Shao mirror cube. It's extremely fast, extremely good. Definitely get one. Okay, so next is my first ever Ru a Rubik's Cube. It's a Rubik's Brand 3x3. L listen to that. It moves alright for a Rubik's Brand because I've solved it hundreds of thousands of times. But it is just absolutely horrible. It's all rusting on the inside. It locks up. doesn't pop. Um... That's the only good thing about it, it doesn't pop, there is no corner cutting, because it just locks up. Um, no reverse, it's absolutely horrible, don't get one. Next is my 1x1, one one, handmade 1x1, one one, made out of this cube, like I said before. The stickers didn't turn out very well for it, but still, it, it's a 1x1. One I am competing in one by one at competitions. Um, my PB is 0 0.39 seconds. Lol. <laughs> okay, so next is my 3x3 three three main. Um, it's the Cyclone Boys Feiwu 3x3. Three three. It, it, was, it, it was fairly cheap. It's quite sl sluggish, really. Um, and it's got alright corner cutting. Reverse is terrible. But. I have lubed it and I have tensioned it and it has made it slightly better but it hasn't got any faster from when I got it and up, up until I lubed it because uh, no, it didn't need any breaking in or anything because it was already broken in so no matter how many solves I did on it, it did not become any faster so I had to lube it and tension it and that made it come slightly faster but yeah that's the um, second boy's favorite three by three um, I don't really recommend it, really. It's better getting a different cube than that, but I love it. So, that is my entire cube collection. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.